good morning. Today is Tuesday, April 23rd. And we're going to have a lot of noise. Well, good morning. Today is Tuesday, April 23rd. I was going to do my uh, opening outside by the garage, but my neighbors all have lawn services and there's like three different lawn services out here right now and they all have their like machines going and their leaf blowers and all that blah blah plus it's garbage pickup day so the garbage trucks are going by so it's quite noisy <laughs> so I thought I would do my opening in my car before I go for my walk um, today is Tuesday April 23rd and it's my niece Kathleen's birthday happy birthday to you happy birthday to you Happy birthday, dear Kathleen. Kathleen Dawn. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. She's my sister Sue's uh, baby girl. I remember when she was born because she wasn't supposed to be born on the day she was born. And Susie had gone into the hospital for some kind of complication. And uh, they said, oh, she's going to have her baby today. <laughs> kind of like Christy. But she was... Uh, Denise and Mary and I were there at the hospital with Sue, um, and they said, no, she's going to have to go. She's going to have to go have her baby now. And so then she had she had Kathleen, and Kathleen was a preemie, so she had to be uh, brought to Children's Hospital. And uh, it was a little touch and go at first, but you know what? Now we got Kathleen. Yeah! <laughs> always nice. Always nice to have Kathleen in our lives. Um, I wanted to thank everybody for all of your kind 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 comments because I know I was just so down yesterday and uh I'm in a I'm in a better mood today I really am I've just had um a lot of things hit me the, the last couple days emotionally and uh you know what do we do when we get emotional we eat food <laughs> as if that's going to be the cure-all if only it was the cure-all if it really was the cure-all then we'd all be able to eat whatever we want and we'd be as thin as we want to be and that's just not the way it's going to go. But uh, I had some sad news from some friends and uh, just uh, different things going on. Everybody's got things going on in their lives. Oh, there's one of them leaving now. You can't see it because the window. It's very sunny. It's very nice outside. It's 64. It's it's beautiful. Of course, you know, Kathleen wished for a good day for her day. And, and, and her wish was granted. Although it's supposed to rain later this afternoon. But I want to get my walk in now. But... Uh, other, my only plans is I have to go, um, that I don't have to go, but we're doing Aaron and David's birthday tomorrow. Their birthday's not actually till Saturday, but we're celebrating it tomorrow. And uh, Aaron wanted barbecue chicken, and the chicken's on sale at Kroger's today, and today's the last day of the sale, so I wanted to go get the chicken. And then um, David just wants a pizza, so we're going to have a pizza delivered. So we'll have a, a smorgasbord of choices tomorrow. And then... Um, as far as today, other than going to Kroger's, I'll probably stop by the swing by the post office just to make sure I don't have any mail. I didn't go there on Sunday, and because um, I wanted to get to Dan's after church, and then um, I, don't know, I did laundry yesterday, so I don't have that to do. I'm gonna stay on plan. Uh, yesterday I had uh, had ordered a cheeseburger and I cut it in half and only ate half of it, so I'm gonna have the other half for my dinner tonight, and. I think I'm going to have some pancakes and bacon for breakfast. And I think I'm just going to, I'm still going to track. Uh, I really am. But um, I think I'm just going to take the rest of this month off. Just not worrying about losing weight. I'm just going to not go crazy. I'm not giving my I'm not giving myself an excuse to eat whatever I want because that's not going to happen. Uh, I know that I have to rein it in and I have to um, track. But um I'm just not going to stress about it. I'm just going to wait until um, my weigh-in when I get back from... Because I'm going to Toronto next week. I'm leaving on Monday, and I'm coming back on Thursday. And I tend to lose weight when I go on traveling. I don't eat as much, which most people, when they go on vacation, gain weight. I tend to lose weight, only because I don't eat when I'm traveling, and I don't eat anything if I'm not really aware of where a bathroom is because I have a little bit of irritable bowel syndrome and when I gotta go I gotta go and so I have to know that there's a bathroom nearby so um, I don't tend to eat a lot but um, with that being said I I probably have a gain now <laughs> I jinxed myself but no I, I think I'll do pretty good so I think that I 
I'm going to go to the meeting this Saturday. I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to just... Do, I've never, in the whole time I've been going, I've never done a, a skip. But um, I'm thinking that if I... If I, I think what I'm going to do is I don't weigh myself before I go to the meeting. I think I'm going to weigh myself this Saturday and uh, and see how my scale looks. And if my scale shows a huge gain, which I think it's going to, I, um, I'm i just going to do a buy. You know, like, a, not a, I don't know what they call it, when you just don't weigh in that one week. Just so I don't have to look at that number and, and have it throw me off psychologically before I'm going on vacation. And then... Um, the following week, take the take the number, no matter what it is on the on the book, and uh, just go from there. Because uh, I really do think I'm just putting too much pressure on myself, and and I just have to cut back a little bit. I have to. I just have to realize this is the way I'm going to eat the rest of my life. I keep saying that, and and I really truly do mean that, but uh, I have to figure out that I want to eat a little bit less until I get to the point where this is how I'm going to eat the rest of my life. Because I do need to lose weight. And my birthday's coming up pretty quick. Quicker than I want it to come. Because it's going to be in September. It'll be here before you know it. And not that I'm rushing the... Because summer hasn't even come yet. But, you know, the older you get, the faster time goes by. It just really goes by so fast. And uh, I just... Um, I just want to at least get close to Wonderland. Maybe even if I'm not in Wonderland, just get really close to it. Because... Uh, and it's not like I'm readjusting my goals. I, I'm not. I'm just trying to be more realistic because you, know, you figure I have May, June, July, August, really only four months, and uh, and probably about 38 pounds to go. So that's like nine pounds a month, which is not a realistic goal for somebody my age. So if I can get close, if I can at least get into the teens, you know, that'll show me that by Christmas I can get to Wonderland. And... Uh, I just readjust my sales. That's all I got to do. It's just always readjusting your sales. And, and I just need to readjust them once again. And, and I will. And uh, I, uh, I'm i still not feeling 100%, but I'm feeling about 90. Yesterday I was about 30. So so I've made some progress. But uh, I just, um, I, I know I can do this. I'm tired of putting too much pressure on myself. Um uh, all your kind, kind comments, you were just so nice to me, and you gave me so much insight into uh, why I do this channel, and uh, and why I enjoy doing it so much, and and I, I'm just going to try to do better for myself, for myself first. I'm sorry you guys come second, <laughs> but I'm coming first, and I, and I know that sounds selfish, but you know what? They always say, like, if you're on an airplane and you need the air masks dropped, you always put yours on first because you're not going to be of any help to anybody else if you haven't taken care of yourself first. So uh, I have to take care of myself first. And that's my plan. So um, thank you all. Thank you so for all your love and support and your encouragement and uh, just making me feel really special. And I really appreciate it. So let's go for a walk, put up with all the outside noise. Oh, the sounds of... It's not even the sounds of silence. It's the sounds of machinery. So I'll talk to you guys when I get back from my walk. Well, I beat the rain. It's getting a little breezy out here. I had to take my sweatshirt off because it got kind of hot. Um, I wanted to th congratulate Kathy Muller. She's reached her goal, 55.8 pounds. Way to go. Congratulations. I, um, I feel so much better. I always feel better after my walk. So I'm going to go in and drink some water and uh, get on with my day. So I'm glad you joined me on my walk. I should have done a Facebook Live, but I have to look where I'm going, otherwise I'll fall flat on my face. It does look nice, but let's see if you can see the, the clouds coming. See the clouds, they're, they're moving in. So glad I got it in before it rained. Okay, I'm gonna eat my breakfast now. And I started my day with a prayer. I drank 50 ounces of water. My quote is, you have three choices in life. Give up, give in, or give it all you've got. Uh, 24 smart points, it's a nine point breakfast. Zero for my egg, berries, banana, tea, and water. Three points for my tablespoon of strawberry preserves. Three points for my uh, English muffin, and three points for my center cut bacon. It's a nine point breakfast, so I have 15 points left for my dinner. 
well, I'm answering my comments, and I happened to notice that yesterday was Jam and Weight Watchers' birthday, and somehow she fell out of my calendar. My phone is just like acting up. You know what? I have a theory about my phone. It's it's already paid for, and I think that they only last so long so that they make you go and buy another phone. I don't think that they, because my battery loses its charge so much quicker, and my mother always says it's a scam. <laughs> And I always said, oh, Mom, stop saying that. But you know what? I think she was right. I think she was on to something. But somehow, uh, Lori Adams, Lori Adams over at Jam and Weight Watcher, I missed your birthday yesterday, so I am definitely going to sing to you today. Happy belated birthday to you. Happy belated birthday to you. Happy belated birthday, dear Lori. Happy belated birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I am so sorry I missed your birthday yesterday. I, hopefully it was a great day. You could have came out to eat with us when we took uh, Kathleen out for her dinner. But I forgot it was your birthday. How could I have done that? Oh, I'm so sorry. Happy birthday. Okay, I'm going to have the other half of my burger and a glass of iced tea. So it's tw I figured the whole burger was probably 24 points. So um, I'm just going to figure half is 12 points. So I still have three points left. Okay, I think I'm about done for tonight. Um, I still feel like I got a lot of sugar in my body. I just uh, went crazy on that, that between that bunny and the cupcakes and the pie. And, but I'm drinking a lot of water, trying to get it out. And uh, where am I here? Um, and I have decided that on Saturday I'm just going to do a no way in. I am going to go to the meeting. I'm going to Toronto next week, uh, Monday through Thursday. I'm not going to have the stress of worrying about um, dieting. I'm just going to stay, you know, true to what I want to have, but within reason. I'm not going to go crazy. And then uh, when I get back on May 4th for my weigh-in on that Saturday, I'm going to start back full force, gung-ho. <laughs> I'm going to be back at it. So uh, I put down below in my description box uh, links to Cat on Point and Valerie Reese. They both did the perfect subscriber tag. So go over to their channel, check them out. Um, I follow both of them. I love their channels. Uh, one day I'm going to be showing up on a cruise with uh, Valerie Reese. She's going to open up her luggage and ba bing I'm going to pop out. <laughs> cause I, I envy her. She goes on a lot of cruises. And uh, I love Cat on Point too. So... Uh, Check their channels out. Let them know that you uh, that you want to subscribe to them and uh, let them know I sent you over. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow.